I'm in a booth uh, for iOS app development for non-programmers, and I'm talking to Kevin McNish. And uh, actually, my buddy Niraj said I had to come talk to you because this sounded really cool. Sounds great. <laughs> so uh, my last four programming class was Fortran 4 with Watt 5 in uh, 1976, I think, 78, somewhere along there, Zines. Are you telling me if I read your books and take your training class, even I could become an iOS programmer? Uh, yes. Uh, basically, if you can use technical equipment, uh, if, you, if you're not lost on a computer or lost with an iPod or something, well, those folks will never write code. But if you're reasonably adept at your Mac... I'm pretty geeky. Okay. You can write code. Um, I've been teaching people to write code for years and lots of beginners. So um, we decided to come out with a series that would help people get into app development. I love it. Uh, I've been writing apps as soon as the platform is available. And uh, it's gratifying to be able to spend three, four weeks and be done. Right? You really? Can write That's app. it, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm used to writing much larger systems. You might be done in two or three years. So, so you're a programmer, though, so you know what you're doing. Why are you qualified to teach somebody like me that doesn't know how to do it? Wouldn't you make assumptions that I knew everything? Um, with this book, we make no assumptions. In fact, uh, we had a number of beta readers. Uh, so you're right, when you're me, it's hard to know how to say something to someone who doesn't know perhaps anything or very little. So what well, we I heard did, you beta tested on your wife. Is that did, true? Yes. My wife is a smart woman. Uh, she does anesthesia for a living, but uh, she'd never written any code. So with, along with her, our 12-year-old daughter, and a number of other beta readers, uh -huh. uh, I would give them a chapter, and she would come back and say, I don't know what this means. Oh, right? good, good. So I would rewrite a section. I would add uh, a diagram. Uh, our iPad version of the book has interactive diagrams. And I find that if I can get people to visualize what code is doing, because I know that's what I'm doing. When I'm writing code, I've got a mental picture of what's going on. And if I can give you that picture, then things click. So that's really helpful that the iBook platform can do that in ways that just reading a regular book can't. So, so this is all an ebook then, right? Uh, we do have, uh, some people just love to have it in their hands, so we have that too. Okay. But I actually recommend the iPad version because we have embedded videos. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have, you do an exercise. I say, try this yourself. So you work through it and then you watch a video of me. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did it. Oh, and cool. so that really helps people. I find when people watch me write code, they take things in that you just don't get from going step by step through an exercise in a book. Definitely, definitely. I like to I like to see things too. So this is so the book series is called iOS App Development for Non Programmers. That's right. And you also have a training class. We do. So uh, you learn a certain amount in the books, and you can actually certainly write apps going through the series. But when you write your own apps, you're going to have questions, things you don't know how to do. So uh, our classes are about that. People bring the apps they're creating to the classes, and uh, we have a number of different subjects that we'll be covering. And uh, we help people build the apps that they're in the process of creating along so, with some of the standard apps that we do. Is that a physical training class? It's a physical training class. Ooh, that's weird. I remember those. Yes. <laughs> yeah, again, I find uh, I've done online classes and still do them. But being in a room for five days, uh, we've got fingers to keyboard, and I can help you. I'm standing right there. And I've actually also got one of the other fellows in our company who goes around and helps too. Oh, very, very cool. Well, this sounds fantastic. Maybe I'll give it a try. I, I keep wanting to dip my toe in because I'm no slouch. I'm an engineer, but I just haven't programmed since the 1970s. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. In fact, my kids finally think I'm cool. Uh, <laughs> before this, they had no idea what I do. Now look, he's got a book. That's right, a book, and I write apps. Uh, it was take your dad to school day for uh, my son's third grade class. I came in and kids were asking for my autograph. Oh, I love it. Now you're a rock star, right? <laughs> I, I wrote software before, that's, what is that? But he writes apps. It's like, oh my God. So you want to be cool with kids or whatever. That's very cool. Well, I'm glad Niraj told us to stop by. And again, his name is Kevin McNish, spelled M-C-N-E-I-S-H, if you're looking it up in the iBook store. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you.